Okay guys, some major, major updates are going on in regards to legal documents, legal proceedings, everything you guys need to know in less than 10 minutes. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali, hopefully you guys are doing well today, back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, please do so, it is just one click to subscribe, that's all you guys have to do, and let's get straight into this video, I'm never going to do that ever again. This little, I don't know what that was, but anyways, insane to me guys, this is probably the craziest thing I have ever written. But the six cases filed against Sean P. Diddy Combs, four of them against four of them were men, two of them were women, and we read them out to you and we discussed them. Well, it looks like they were assigned to a judge called Judge Raiden. Judge Raiden, guys, has decided to dismiss these cases. He has dismissed six of these cases, guys. All six of them have been dismissed. And so this is absolutely crazy. Judge Radin, who has dismissed it, saying it must be refiled as a miscellaneous case in others, summons issued. So that is crazy, which is what Inner City Press is stating. It is hereby ordered that this action is dismissed for failure to comply with the ECF rule. So it, it looks like what... Um, Busby is doing is that he is assigning them as individual cases, which means that if they are individual cases, they are going to be seen by different judges. If they're going to be seen by different judges, that means a lot more work for the New York courts than they'd expect. It's not a class action lawsuit. It's not one lawsuit for one judge. It's six different. All of these are going to be individual lawsuits, which means individual lawsuits basically means different judges. So for the fact that this judge has dismissed all of these cases because it should be seen and refiled as a miscellaneous case and it's been refiled in a different way, to me is insane. That is good news for Diddy, but these six cases that have been dismissed are probably going to be refiled from what Busby is going to be stating because ain't no way Busby is going down like this. Ain't no way. Now in his criminal case, Combs, through counsel, is asking for the names of all the victims, including those names, Doe, in the civil cases filed by Busby, in which at least two judges have requested a justification for using pseudonames. Lawyers for Sean Diddy Combs are now asking the judge in his criminal case to direct the government to identify its alleged victims that Mr. Combs can prepare for trial. A new motion filed today. He wants all of these victims to be named and shamed, basically. Why are you preparing for this trial if you're innocent? If you're so innocent, then it does, there doesn't need to be much prep, to be honest with you. But there's been a long list, guys. A long list of... Diddy's lawyer sent prosecutors a list of information demands last week, and they began their letter this way. This indictment treats Diddy... Um, did he sexual history over the past 16 years, from 2008 through 2024, as part of an alleged vast criminal conspiracy? Okay. We demand that you immediately turn over all material in your possession, included but not limited to all info indicating that participation in the free cops work was consensual, including evidence and statements. All information showing that the alleged victims and witnesses are lying, exaggerating or otherwise unreliable. All information showing that prior to the alleged victims' motivation to lie, they were afraid of Mr. Combs and never reported, whether formally or informally, any instances. All information showing that to the extent there were any disputes between Mr. Combs and any alleged victims, those were disputes related to infidelity or other interpersonal matters. All information relating to the government's unsuccessful attempts to find corroborating information from local law enforcement. All information relating to the government's failure to fully investigate alleged victims. All information relating to the government's failure to fully investigate the alleged victims, agency and freedom during the alleged periods of coercion and abuse. So he's really trying to spin this. Diddy has a history of intimidating witnesses, so I don't understand what his lawyer is doing. But these are some fresh legal documents that have just dropped in the past two hours, and I definitely wanted to update you guys on all of this. The six cases that we read out to you, dismissed and needs to be refiled. The judges are not having any of it. And also, if Busby is filing them individually, that means different judges are looking at them. You can't be the same judge because of bias and etc. That also means that any conversation of a judge being paid off, you'd need to pay off a lot of these judges if that were to be the case. So it helps to rule that out, most definitely. Busby is going to refile these and more cases are going to be coming. Ain't no way he's going to leave it like that. But as of recently, for the cases to be dismissed because they need to be refiled properly, and you know the courts are also asking for what is the justification for these victims to be given pseudonames? Why aren't their real names being mentioned? So... You know, 
This is what Diddy's lawyers did before. After Cassie's lawsuit, there were two, three others back in 2023. He asked for their names to be revealed. He wants to know who these people are and he wants their names to be publicly shamed. In a way, their names don't need to be out there publicly. Um, when it comes to these lists of alleged victims, Diddy probably knows who they are or probably doesn't, to be honest with you, with the amount of people that he ran through. But we know the games his lawyers are playing. We know these games the lawyers are playing. And to me, it is just a game of chess. And it looks like Diddy wants to play checkmate. He's going to be happy that these cases have been dismissed, but I don't think they'll be dismissed for long. These photos have reportedly been removed from the Mel's Drive in Hollywood in the wake of his arrest. So, you know, he's lost two keys from New York and Miami. And now, of course, things have been removed from a driveway in Hollywood as well. So the floodgates have definitely opened, as we all know, but these legal documents are going to be dropping here and there every single week. The next hearing was, well, the last hearing was 10th of October. The next hearing is going to be in December. So we have a very long time, basically two months until nearly three, until we get to that second stage. It's going to be dragged out a lot. Now, the speedy trial, this is what Diddy wants. We've got May 2025, the same day as the Met Ball, the Met Gala, but I don't think that the court is dates are going to run through. I don't think the trial is going to happen then. Absolutely not. I definitely don't think so. Let me know your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to this quick video, when it comes to these shocking legal documents, what Diddy is trying to play, what he's trying to submit to the courts, and etc., if that hotel footage gets dismissed, I'm going to absolutely lose it. But to be honest with you, the damage has been done. And I'm pretty sure they have a lot more evidence anyways when it comes to prosecution. It's not just that hotel footage, but we'll see what happens when it comes to that as well, because they're trying to get it off on a technicality basis. Let me know your thoughts are, guys, when it comes to this video. Do subscribe to the channel, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. And I just want to break this down for you guys. I wanted to get this out for you quickly. I'm currently in Rome. I am in Italy. I'm here for the rest of the week. And then, you know, I probably will continue my travels around Europe or maybe go back to London for a pit stop to reset or etc. Because a lot has happened over this past week. I've been working for you guys consistently and I'm just kind of jet lag and just, I don't know, too much is happening. Way too much is happening, guys. Ah, oh, diddy, diddy, diddy. I'm just waiting for this documentary to come out, this Netflix documentary that 50 is working on. That is what I'm looking forward to see because there's going to be new information in that that we don't know about or perhaps new victims that we don't know about. One thing about 50, he likes to sleep on a bombshell and just drop it for everybody to see. So I'm definitely excited to see that Netflix documentary. Not sure when it's coming out. If any of you guys have any idea, comment down below. But yeah. Let me know where your thoughts are and I'll catch you guys soon.